baby, baby, it's a wild world. This morning on today's Call of the Wild, saving the cheetah. Less than 12,000 cheetahs remain in the wild, and they're on the U.S. Endangered Species Act list of threatened species. SeaWorld and Bush Gardens Animal Ambassador Julie Scardina is here with a special cheetah cub, and we also have its puppy companion. <laughs> Julie, good morning. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, this is uh, one of the most imperiled species, but also one of the most adorable oh, that, uh, that we've got at Bush Gardens, I'll tell you that. And, is, and we, we should mention, you received Kasi because uh, his condition wasn't so great. His mother wasn't taking care of him, correct? That's right. Yeah, he was born at another zoo, um, and unfortunately, all the siblings did not survive. Kasi was the only one that survived, and we have a brand-new exhibit opening up, uh, Cheetah Run at Bush Gardens. So basically, he was given to us as an ambassador animal so that we could take him out and actually educate people about the fact that cheetahs are really under threat, as well as all big cats, basically. Fast, fastest mammal on, on, on the there is, That's right? right. You know what? In three strides, they can reach 40 miles per hour. Wow. Three strides. Think about oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, what, now what he wants to do is go over and play with his friend because I we've got... I think so. Maybe we should bring Matani up here. Matani is a lab puppy. Aww. And tell me how these two became buddies. Well, you, because with. because Kasi was a lone cub, basically, we wanted to have a companion so that they could wrestle, that uh, Kasi could socialize, that... You know, they could obviously expend energy and things like that. And it has worked out perfectly. Cats and dogs don't usually get hey, along. Hey, I mean, it's you're does. stealing the food. <laughs> smart dogs. Smart dogs. Cats and dogs don't yeah, usually get along. What, what is it about their special relationship, their bond? Well, you know, it has been done before where cheetahs or, or some other cats are raised with dogs. Dogs are such social animals that they will bond with, you know, a lot of different things that you put them with. And so basically... Uh, Kasi, being so young, uh, Kasi's not even four months old yet, you know, said, hey, I'll, I'll wrestle with any companion. And that's a good point. Four months old. What happens right. when Kasi gets a little older and those natural instincts kick in? Is it, would it be safe to have them together still? You know, we're going to watch it, uh, you know, obviously during the entire time that they're growing up. But... They form a mutual respect for each other, just like brothers, you know, brothers or sisters together. Even though one may be way bigger, uh, you know, they're still going to they're still going to respect each other and, and, and really have formed that bond. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is a, is a real house dog here. <laughs> how does the dog, though, keep up with the cheetah? Because the cheetah could, you know, obviously, when well, it wants to go for a run. What? Oh, you know what? But you know what? Uh, Matani's actually very smart because you'll see them. They'll totally be running around. They have this huge yard and there's a house right in the middle of the yard. And basically, they run around, and so he's always going around the corner. So this one this, can't totally oh, so get all stretched out. This, but this already at this age, here. it's amazing. You see how long those legs are? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, and those paws, I, you yeah. can see. And their claws don't retract like a typical cat's, right? You're right, Lester. You know, they're semi-retractable so that they actually have that tread-like uh, bottom of their foot so wow. that they can get that grip and that traction I've that seen, speed. I've seen them in the wild on a kill, and the, to go from zero to whatever it is yeah. in, in, instantaneously yeah. is phenomenal. Well, they're faster, faster than now. any sports car can take off, which wow. is just incredible, incredible when you think about what nature could they can be, do. Could they be life partners? You know, we hope so. We hope so. Uh, when they form this bond, you would be amazed. You know, we've spent um, a couple days here in New York, actually. And, uh, <laughs> and during, that period of, during that period of time, you know, it's been so much fun just to watch them. They will actually fall asleep so together pretty. on top of the bed. Yeah. <laughs> it's Aww. amazing. This is one but, pretty but cat. But obviously, you know, the, the cat is not a pet. Um, you know, the, the, the dog we adopted from a shelter in Florida to be a companion for him. They both get a great amount of attention from people at our exhibit, and they get to be ambassadors for their species. At the same That's time. right. So what people can do is actually contribute to organizations that protect the cheetah, like the con yeah. uh, cheetah conservation. Julie, this is great. Thanks for coming here. Thank they were a little so wild. Much. Nothing will ever top the monkeys we had here in the studio. Today. That was another story completely. Anyway, we appreciate the work you're doing on behalf of the cheetah. And you too, my little <laughs>